So we're in the middle of a remodeling or refinishing project on our basement. And I wanna do a statement or an accent wall on this big wall behind me. And I've heard a lot of people talk about barn wood and pallet jack walls, and there's a lot of different types of wood that you can do to get that look. So instead of using barn wood or pallet jack wood, we decided to use these fencing boards. We bought our boards from Home Depot for $239 a board. They're premium treated pine fencing boards. And they do have this little uh, dog ear at the top, which we'll cut off. And I figured that after we cut the dog ear off, we wound up having a five and a half inch by 70 inch board, basically 2.6 square foot of board. And so for our wall behind me, that's 14 feet by eight feet, my total cost for boards was $120. So then how do we transform these boards into more of a rustic look? What we decided to do was get a bunch of different kinds of stains and to stain the boards different stain colors. And I, in fact, I even found a oops paint at Menards that was a red barn stain and we were gonna stain some boards red and then sand them down, scuff them up and make them look weathered. For a total cost with paint of about $140, we're gonna finish this wall. So we're starting with just these plain rough pine boards and I'm not doing anything to them. I'm not sanding them or whatever. I want that kind of rough grain to show through on the stain. We'll have like six total color combinations that we can layer on the wall and give us some really neat kind of barn, warm, earthy textures. Let's go change into our paint clothes and we'll get stain on some of these and see how they come out. You know, I think part of it is just kind of playing with different stains and seeing what you like. So this one got pretty dark, so I'm going to take an old rag and throw some mineral spirits on it and see if we can't tone down this color just a little bit with some mineral spirits and see how this looks. It's going to bring back some of those high grain spots and some of the red is showing up again. Yeah, that is looking cool. If you can see here the difference between this barn red board we just painted and then the ones that we stained with the walnut, the aged oak, and the espresso. I'm just getting a variety of tones that are all red, kind of faded barn, weathered look. And we just bought these boards yesterday at Home Depot. They look like they've been outside for a few years. I'll stain about seven to eight boards of each color and uh, we'll get these through staining and then um, start to lay them out and get them hung on the wall. All right, we're back. It's been a few weeks actually since we uh, painted the boards. Um, a friend of mine told me that with those fresh fence boards, they're a little wet and they can shrink on the wall. And we had some other basement projects to work on. So we finished those up. We just let the fences sit kind of propped up against the wall for a couple weeks and dry out a little more. And we're gonna get them cut and mounted up on the wall. things we learned while we hung the wall up because these are rough cut boards they're not all exactly the same shape so we took some liberty in making sure there was just a little bit of space so that once we got the the row out everything kind of lined up we also hit the corners with a little black spray paint just so if a little edge shows we were able to hide some of that natural wood again we also took some liquid nails and um, just in case the edges of the boards didn't completely line directly up with the studs we put a little dab of glue on the back of each board and that helped everything just stick down really nice. Also, very, very helpful if you don't have a pneumatic nail gun, definitely rent one for a project like this. It really made the job go much faster. We literally were in uh, into this job in about three hours it took us to hang the wall. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.